What's the proof method? Simply, it is the smartest investor's investment cycle. When you buy a property, fix it, improve its value, and refinance it, you are borrowing against the value of the property at its highest. When it is done correctly, you will recover more of, or sometimes all of the money you invested. So what do you mean by BRU? B means buy. Most lenders will finance 75% of a property's value, so you should aim for 75% all in. A number of options can help you purchase your property, such as cash, harmony loan, seller financing, or a private loan. Deciding which upfront financing to use is outside of this video's scope, but note that different upfront financing options will result in different acquisition and holding costs. You need to account for those when analyzing a deal in order to hit your 70 or 75% goal. Buying properties on their market value and never investing more than 75% of the properties after repair value or ARB ensures you never run out of, out of capital and can continue buying forever. The ARB is the fair market value. So start with your ARB. I recommend having a trusted source like an experienced real estate agent, lender, or other investor give you a conservative number they believe the house will apprise for once it is uh, repaired. Take that number and multiply it by 0.75. This is your target. Your goal is to get the rehab and the purchase price to add up to this target goal. For example, if the ARB is 200,000, you multiply it by 0.75, then you all in purchase price is 150. If you pay too much for a property, there is very little you can do to recover from surprises and problems. First R is rehab. There are two key questions to keep in mind when rehabbing a, a rental property. Number one, what do I need to do to make this house livable and functional? And number two, which rehab decisions can I make that will add more value than their cost? So rehab correctly and make sure you add value when you do. The house needs to be in good shape and everything needs to be functional. Being a slumlord will hurt you in the long run and our industry's reputation, but it won't be in good shape when you purchase it. That's the point. We intentionally look for properties that need massive repairs because we know other investors will ignore them and the sellers will be more motivated to drop their prices. Second R, rent. Banks readily want to refinance a property that isn't occupied. So renting comes first than refinancing the home. It is critical to screen diligently so you get tenants that will pay each month. One thing to keep in mind with this strategy is when uh, refinancing or when refinance your mortgage will typically be slightly higher than with the traditional method because you are borrowing more money against the house. Think about this. This is well worth it. Capital in the bank can be used to grow wealth, while equity in the property can't be used for much. The flip side of this argument is that your cash flow will be slightly lower with the higher mortgage payment. This just means just be careful when running rental comes and know what to expect for rent when, once you purchase a property. Third R, refinance. Not too long ago, it was extremely hard to find a bank that was willing to refinance single-family rental properties. Now it is much easier. Still, when looking for such banks, there are a few things that you will need to ask. Number one, do they offer cash out or will they only pay off debt? If they won't offer cash out, move on. Number two, what seasoning period uh, do they require? A seasonal period is how long you have to own a property before the bank will lend on the appraised value instead of how much you have invested. For the strategy to work, you must borrow on the appraised value. These days, some banks are willing to lend on the appraised value as soon as the property has been rehabbed and rented. These are the best banks to find. Just text us or call us and we can guide you with some banks which are brute method friendly. We know these banks lend to investors to the price point you require. They, uh, they have uh, done it before, so there is a good chance that we'll do it again. 
The trick to being uh, successful here is getting as high of an appraised value as you possibly can. A big part of, the, of uh, success in this area is a combination of how well you rehabbed it and how strong your initial comps were. Sinking a, sinking, a, sinking a lot of capital into a deal and then falling to pull it out is a big problem. I recommend getting pre-approved for the loan before buying. Fourth R, repeat. The repeat part of the bull cycle is the most fun. Take everything you learned, gain and improve upon and put it back into action. Work on building systems too. Systems help you accomplish your objectives by repeating the same process over and over. Systems cut down on mistakes and stress. The more documented your systems are, the less you will worry about something being missed, overseen, or forgotten about. Okay, now let's see an example. Purchase price plus rehab cost, 150,000. You buy it cash, harmony loan, or private money. So, the down payment plus closing cost is 30%, which is 45,000. The loan amount is 70%, which is $105,000. Refinancing, ARB equals $200,000. New loan amount, 75%, which is $150,000. You pay your previous loan amount of $105,000 and you take your down payment and your closing cost of $45,000 back. Then you repeat the process over and over again. If you want to know more about lending options and property management, let's chat so we can introduce you with the right people. By the way, don't forget to check our blog at housely.com forward slash blog.